Hi. In this tutorial, we'll be doing WordPress Plus plugin deployment, and we'll be we'll be we'll be using Google Launchpad and custom 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 table. So, so this is a finished product. That what we will be doing in this project. So, so we we have a Google chart here, and we have it we have a data here. So this data is coming from the database and then we, we create a new table and then we we add the data and then we will be will be retrieving data and then and then you can you can add or edit or delete with this one so so we'll be adding a new data here we'll be using booster for for validation and then and then we'll be, we can add the data and we can we can update the data. So that's a that's a new one. And then if you go to second page, because we I sort by ID and then so that's what we add. Let's say we want to edit. So that should be let's just seven eight. So we are editing the data. Uh, that should be stay there. You can sort by ID. Here. So we we change the five six seven eight this in there. So if you can, so we um we can delete data as well. So so this is the. MySQL Workbench, and then if you query, this is a database name of the WordPress, and then if you query, if you query around here, so that's what we add so far. So let's see, let's see if update or not. So let's see if we want to edit that one. So that has to be changing the lead name, and then. We we'll see nine 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 nine. Let's see. So we are updating the data, and then if we query again, so we should be seeing that that updated data. So there you go. So we will be using we'll be creating custom tables. So this is a small table. It's, it should be easy for you. Um. And you can do the, you know, if you know the, if you know just the basis, and then you can do the, you can do the on, you can do the on complex queries and then complex, like, complex, you know, queries and then everything. So you can do the by yourself. And then this is the, this is the basic. And then we'll be using what uh, WP table that's integrated in WordPress. WordPress admin and then it created by WordPress and then we'll be reusing that one and we'll be displaying data so in the in, in your project that might be useful. Oh by the way, so that bulk caching is not working, so you still need to implement those. So um I finished the project with the the main part. So we have a Google chart and then we have a data. So that's our that's a what's the project. So if you are interested, so jump on. And this is what we shall we be doing for the, this project. So thank you.